But anyway, yeah. Back to talking about um, Death and Elysian Tale. Yeah, the reason why I bring this up is because it's a game that I'm very much in love with, and yet it doesn't have as much attention as it should, in my opinion. I could pretty much say the same thing for for like anime or something like that. Like, why 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 are no more people watching canon? <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you bring that up because um, yeah, Death and the Living Tale does have some uh, anime cutscenes in them. In fact, what's really what's really astounding about this game is that most of the game, from the gameplay to the artwork to the character design. They were all done by one person within the span of four years. And everything else, the voice acting and the music were all done by uh, other people, but everything else in the game were all done by the same person in four years. And the, the final results just look beautiful. I mean, they're just absolutely incredible. God, what's with like indie games nowadays that are like just coming to fruition around the right time? It's like, yeah. There are things like with Toby Fox and Undertale, and now we have this with like uh, Dustin Elysian Tale. Um, yeah, Dean Dodrill is his name. And even though we're not into the genre, there's Five Nights at Freddy's. Ah. Uh, you know, I if there's one game genre that I'm never gonna play, it's a horror game because they don't scare me. There isn't. There isn't one horror genre video game out there that, like, legitimately terrified me at all. Like, even Five Nights at Freddy's 4, that's supposed to be, like, the scariest of the Five Nights at Freddy's game. And I still don't get a reaction out of, uh, out of watching them, because they're just predictable. You know that there's going to be a jump scare coming. I guess that's probably the point, because like, I guess that point of the scariness is that I know you're on, you know that you're anticipating it, and that's what makes you feel it, it's anxiety. That's that's what's going on. Yeah. And the reason why that I don't play horror games is well, I don't want to needlessly like give myself a heart attack. Yeah. Although there is one horror game that I, I get a jump scare, lose a year off my life. <laughs> 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 nah. I was gonna say there is actually one horror game. I'm not. I think this is a part of the horror genre. I'm not exactly sure, but there is one game that I'm actually a kind of interested in playing. It's a uh, Bendy and the Ink Machine. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, like more really more of the more of the, the like atmospheric horror sort of things that I'm okay with, because like they want to definitely get you all settled in to like the whole place that you're gonna be venturing through and, and whatnot. Yeah. But actually, there is a one reason in particular as to why I want to play Bendy and the Ink Machine. One of the characters is voiced by Jack Septicai. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, this ain't the first time I've heard YouTubers, like, voicing their stuff in games. Like, I know that originally people like JonTron was going to have a voice role in ukulele until like a controversy happened with him but now instead he lent his voice work on over to uh to a hat in time instead huh. which is arguably okay. a lot more better instead of ukulele because like my thoughts on it was like eh. now, I, now i need to now i need to sit down and have a delay play a hat in time and a lot of people are just enjoying the hell out of that one so i should too so <laughs> Yeah. And there's a third phone booth of the second encounter. And I don't know why this... I keep referring to it as the TARDIS because the TARDIS is blue. Yeah, not red. I was really Whoa, what the f <laughs> That chainsaw is sticking through the phone. Hell that chainsaw's not even animating. It just makes <laughs> it makes a lot of Realism! That's why. <laughs> no. But what's really interesting about this phone booth is that it actually connects to the phone booth from the Serpent Yards. Hmm. The second phone booth of the game. And in fact, in the Serpent Yards, Sam actually makes a phone call. And Sam in this level is the one who answers that call from this phone booth. Interesting. <laughs> yeah.
Minigun, my friend. Well, that's all well and good when it comes to uh, current games that you've been playing or, or anything that's on your mind. What about for good old Wiki? Um, I guess in reference to something that for some reason I was ashamed to admit in, in the first encounter, I've been playing RuneScape. <laughs> I have not played RuneScape. Yeah. You know, looking back, I don't know why that I was just like sounding like I'm so ashamed to play it. It's like a guilty pleasure or something like that. And now I'm like, okay. Of course. <laughs> it's really interesting, like how I look back at myself like so many years uh, ago. Because like I definitely sound like a lot more of a reserved, quiet sort of guy. And now I'm not so much no more. Yeah. <laughs> Having fun with your minigun, Flapjack? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Now all we need is to have a rocket attached to that chainsaw of yours. <laughs> oh yeah, then we have a ball. <laughs> <laughs> they throw bomber! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but one of the bombers actually tried to throw a bomb up here. Ow. It bounced, <laughs> it bounced off the ceiling and back to the floor and it blew up a couple of the rocketeers. Well, now it blew up in my face. <laughs> okay. hey, 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 hey. Hang on, there was something I want to grab. What the hell? Hey, Lone Clear. <laughs> yeah, go on without me. I'll, I'll find a way out. Well, I guess we do have to go here. Huh. Everything was starting to look familiar now. <laughs> Hello. I'm on the other side of the trench. I see. Also. I'm not sure what we're doing now. Oh, come back. <laughs> Bye, Nar. What the fuck? <laughs> Dumbass Nars. I guess okay. I just want to... Okay, uh, hold on You want me, to, wait, wait, want me to backtrack to where you at or something? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's actually a secret to get here, but... No, right over there to where that armor uh, that armor piece was, there were a bunch of Nars spawning, and <laughs> they keep running over off the edge trying to get to me. Great pathing. <laughs> yep. Anyways, also, I'm right behind you. Geronimo! Crap. And you appeared over there. Huh. Where the hell am I? Oh, I know where I am. Were we supposed to yeah, jump onto a... that revolving thing? Yeah, there's a, there's a jump pad down there. And the secret's up there to the right. Oh, I see. Oh, fuck, too soon. Ah, Oh, oh. God. All right, uh... Yeah, this is one of the most difficult secrets to get. Go, you go first. Thankfully, thankfully it's not in the in the classic version. Oh, oh wow. First try. Oh, you lucky bastard. I'm not going to reach it. Ah, oh, just out of a re just out of reach. Wait, where was the platform? What the fuck? It's all the way at the top of the wall. Like I can't stay here. I was hugging the middle section of the wall. I didn't see anything. Yeah, don't do that. It'll actually reduce your uh, your speed. Oh. Yeah, friction. I'm guessing you're not gonna go for it. Oh. No, I'm trying again. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. I'll, all right, I'll try not to get in your way. I'll just stay here so you'll know exactly where to go. Oh, oh crap! Too too soon. Yeah. And of course, Flapjack's having fun with his buzz saw. Uh, damn it. Yeah. That time I almost had it. I mean, you don't have to get it. I mean, Blackjack already got the secret. That's all that matters, pretty much. I would like some armor, though. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't gonna get any when you keep failing like that, bud. Yeah, okay. <laughs> don't, don't, don't try me. I'm not trying anything. <laughs> Were you just gonna push him? Wait, Dang what? it all. Okay, that was weird. From my perspective, it looked like you landed on the uh, jump pad and then you just died. Uh, and I saw your corpse fly up here. Oh, I think you got it that time. No. What? 
Wow, this is bullshit. Like, I got I, I, I got to the pad on my first try, and now I just can't. Look. I can't believe Flapjack get made it on, the, on his first try. <sighs> Game, come on! <sighs> okay, it looks, to, to me, it looks like you're actually landing on that jump pad, but you're not. You just keep dying on the jump pad, and then your body flies up here. No, I bumped into something shit. You know what? Fuck it. We're, we're spending too much time. Let's go. Yeah. You know what? You can keep yeah, your damn armor. I can get something get something else. Yeah, people are kind of getting tired of watching that over and over, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so me, me, me having to try to get that piece of armor as opposed to like trying to park her up the tower, that's not boring at all. <laughs> Things suddenly turn seriously sour now. Seriously. Time now that I take my aggression on something else. Also, I'm gonna flip this. Oh, someone blew up the horse statue. That time it wasn't me. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that was another secret, and now we can't get to it. I blame the Goro that, demons. That's actually a pretty unorthodox secret. Basically, you go up to the, ho uh, the statue's tail, you press use on it, and then the horse literally poops its heart out. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, there was a talk about a secret door. Did we find it or yeah, what? Yeah, we, we just we just got out of there. Huh. Yeah, that room we what? walked out with the secret that you unlocked with that switch. And we stuck up. All right. We all gotta go in there together. Let's go! Oh, they're warming up. Go, come Where? over here, get ready! Ow. Something just blew up behind me. I don't know what it was. Oh, the lizard hog over there. <laughs> okay. That was a thing. No. Yeah. And now we shall end the level. All right, that was the second one, wasn't it? Yep, two down, two to go. Playing time like an hour, over an hour. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, uh, as soon as it's spawning, don't go anywhere. I want to. I want to take a bathroom break real quick. So uh, I'll be right back. Editing, yay. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to spawn in and then uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. Well, uh, Blackjack, you know what to do. Since someone got up and went away from the computer, do the Spanish flea. Let 
Da, 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 da. <laughs> that right there was a call back to first encounter. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank the freak you. of descent has returned. Yep. I had to take a bathroom break. And now here we are at the courtyard of Gilgamesh. Meanwhile, Flatjack, Flatjack was having a music moment. Oh, again. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> is, it, is it like that, that other time where you went to the bathroom and he was like messing around with a knife and whatnot? You'll see. Okay. <laughs> well, I was still recording while I was away, but uh, I guess <laughs> when, we're, uh, when we're all done. Well, we won't have a reason to edit that. Well, I'll be cutting it out anyway, so. Aww. Okay, that was too soon. There we go. There's a secret heart right there. Heart power. You jump. You jump from here. I see. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> I jumped pretty high over you guys. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? My game just froze again. All right. Okay, you're working so, fine now. <laughs> yeah. so what other games have you been playing other than this recently? Hmm. Well, with me, I've been playing uh, the Myth games. I don't know if you guys are into the uh, the Myth series like I am. The only extent of the Myth series that I have played was through a Minecraft mod. <laughs> I played through the I played through the first four Myth games. Ah, oh, yeah, the one that featured the stranger. The stranger. It, yeah, that's what the main protagonist of the Myth games, of the first four Myth games are called. And by the way, that backpack you guys picked up, that label is a secret. It's not very secret at all. Exactly. Anyway. So yeah, I've been playing, I'm trying to play through uh, all seven of the Myth games right now. I'm doing the uh, Uru Complete Chronicles before I carry on over to Myth 5. And fish! Ah. The freaking frig stick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, come over this way. And swim up, swim up here so we can breathe. Alright, now let's go down this way, and I think it's forward. That next secret is located. Yeah, here we are. So yeah, I'm trying to get through the uh, Myth games before I get around to uh, playing this new game by Cyan called Abduction. It's basically, it's supposed to be Abduction spelled with an O and then not an A. So wait, what was the objective of the Myth games? Is it just going about exploring things? Yeah, basically exploring different places or ages as they're called and solving puzzles and whatnot. But all the Myth games each have uh, different primary objectives connected to them. With the first game, basically there is no uh, specific objective like right off the bat. You just find a book fall that falls from the sky, you touch a, a picture on it, and then you suddenly warp to that place that's in that picture. Yeah, that's pretty much like from what I've expected when I played that mod in Minecraft called Mistcraft. And, oh, yeah, and the whole thing behind it that. is that like I'm sure you already know like the whole idea behind Minecraft with having different dimensions. Like there's the overworld, there's the nether, there's the end, those sort of things. Yeah. So the idea behind Mistcraft is that like you uh, you find these pages and you use them as a way of uh, describing the age that you wanted to go to. And oh yeah. Some of the times it works, sometimes it doesn't, because it can be like unstable. Sometimes like 
Like, oh, hi there, big guy. <laughs> Have fun. Boy, you've been having your milk. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hmm. But yeah, there was a mod that I, I did I like a bit, because, like, like, once you've got enough pages and you know how to uh, structure them just right, you'll be able to create your own custom dimension, how you see fit. Huh. I think we create your own age. Yeah. One notable thing I did remember from that mod is that there is a thing where you can add rainbows. <laughs> because rainbows. <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, where are you guys now? Up. Blackjack's just down underneath having a fun time. Well, so are we. Well, oh, come on. There's the plant. Oh, geez. Yeah. A pair of plants. Oh. Okay, that, that was weird how it disintegrated. <laughs> also. <laughs> Because the way it disintegrated, it took, like, the textures of those leaves to make it look a, like black squares. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I see two serious damage. And invulnerable. Yep, there's a laser down here. Where's the, uh, oh, laser? Oh, shoot. Yep. I must grab that before anything else. Oh, jeez. I guess he doesn't want me to go in there, shit. No, I'll, I'll cover you. Oh god, uh, 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 uh. uh, uh. Leave my friends alone! Oh no, why didn't I grab this? Yes? Frickin' fireball. <laughs> That green stuff. Oh. No one over there. Yeah, those giant green balls of mucus. Basically what they are. Big balls of mucus. Not fire, mucus. Yep. They're not great balls of mucus. Oh, there's another game that I've been uh, getting into that I bought with my uh, Christmas money. Oh, there's actually a few games that I bought for Christmas. I actually uh, mentioned them in one of my, or in the only video log I've had so far. Right now, I only got one video log up, and it's the first one I've ever done. But yeah, I went ahead and bought a few games, such as uh, Rocket League. How's that treating you? It is a lot of fun. I haven't played any. I haven't. Blah, 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 I haven't played any online matches yet. I'm waiting to uh, play my first ever online match with a friend of mine who also has Rocket League. And I also got a Turbo Dismount, thanks to Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. Dang. Okay, why is it every time I pick something up, I, the caption says Book of Wisdom? That was not the Book of Wisdom that I picked up. Ech. Let's go ahead and quote John Tron by accident. Ech. Yeah, for me, I, I don't know what else I can really say about current games that I'm playing. I mean, I'm still playing uh, my Splatoon 2. I've already mentioned the RuneScapes. Um, I don't even know. I mean, for games that I should be getting myself into soon, I did say ahead in time. That's one thing. And here's Nade Launcher. And of course, you've always... Uh, you've been... Uh Really getting into Splatoon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because see, like, the last, like, the recent Splatfest that happened, I believe, was, like, again, another battle of the genres. Because last time it was, uh, sci fi versus fantasy, with fantasy winning, and I was on fantasy. Ah. 
Now this time the the genre was action versus comedy. <laughs> which this game right here just works for both. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And team comedy wins, and I was on team comedy. <laughs> yes. So what now? You guys are over there and I'm over here. <laughs> Bye. I can think of something. Oh, so close. Lift boy, this is oh, you guys are both down there. Lift boy, this isn't my floor. Oh. Fuck, my game just froze again. I, I don't know why I keep doing that. Hope you didn't lose your recording. Here, I'll, I'll give you some air support. Oh, I thought they were coming from behind me. Any more? Oh, shit. <laughs> yep. Oh, look out. He's just hugging the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like a loser. Don't fake out on me. Okay. Hi, right, welcome to the third floor. <laughs> Do 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 do